Why are we here? So as we know, dealing with the river is a very, very, very challenging feat. And this year has made it no easier for the New Orleans district, all for our local parishes and governments and levy districts as well. And a big contributor to that this year is the severe weather. Specifically, the severe weather we're talking about the rain. It's been very wet this year, ladies and gentlemen, very wet. As a matter of fact, it's been the wettest the eastern United States has seen for the past 124 years. And why is that important to us? It's important to us because as we know, the Mississippi Valley drains 41% of this nation. We see it come past our front door every day via the Mississippi River. And the severe rain we got this year, and the one effect of that is the high river. Not only the high river, the high river for a long time. You've seen that river stay up at that stage just for a long time. So let me throw some numbers at you. Let's start with 216. It was 215 yesterday. <laughs> 216 days, that's how long we've been in flood fight. And sadly enough, ladies and gentlemen, the record is 225 days set back in 1973. And based off the current projections, sadly, we will break that record. And normally, we're about breaking records, but that one, I think we're gonna leave it off, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so 108, that's the next one I'll throw at you. 108, we've been in phase two flood fight. That means at a higher stage. So. Half of the time we've been in a flood fight, it's been at a higher stage. That also talks of the severity of the condition that we're in. So let me go to some history action next, okay? So Lower River, Bonnet Carey, made history. Open twice in one year, and in back-to-back -back season. Unprecedented, never happened before. And only the 14th time in history that that structure has been open. And thirdly, unfortunately, the last effect of that is I have to stand before you today, the good people of St. Mary Parish, the Morgan City and tell you that, unfortunately, we have to open up the Morganja Spillway starting on June 2nd. So what does that mean to you? So June 2nd, it'll be a slow open. So what you'll see is about 9,000 CFS come through that structure on day one. Day two, it'll be a cumulative amount of 17,000. Day three, it'll be a cumulative amount of about 25,000 CFS coming at you. So I know you're asking, when will that get to me, sir? And we're gonna get in more depth questions later on when I bring our emergency management and our watershed manager up. But this thing about between June 12th and June 15th, you see your water levels rising a little bit. We projected that you won't get over 10 feet. You're sitting at about eight and a half right now, so approximately one and a half, two feet rise. So, and of course, the barge is in place today. So, we, and absent of any significant shift in wall weather, we should be okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, I know you have more questions, and uh, we get answered. So, we're here, we're rolling our sleeves up. The course here, we're we prepared to answer. I'd like to call the emergency manager up and my worship manager as well. At this time, I'll take questions. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so let me like cite something. The mud wall was not totally completed. Are they going to come in and possibly put the HESCO baskets back in to okay. protect our subdivision? Okay, lakeside subdivision? Yeah, it's on the lake. It's okay, I'm not familiar with everybody. I'll get somebody who is. How strong are the levees for the volume of water that's coming? We don't want a New Orleans situation. Sir, definitely understand. Sir, but let me throw some more numbers at you. So, first, I told you we were in a flood fight for 216 days. So, we're about to break the 73 record of 225 days. So, that's the amount of days that that water has been high on those levees, and those levees have stood strong. So, in the amount of days we have uh, 270 inspection points, only two of those are high priority points. Uh, you can compare that to the 2011 flood, we have over 460 points on the levy. So we have put a lot of resources in the levy since 2011. They're very strong, so strong than ever. Yes, ma'am. In the worst case scenario, if there was an evacuation for a hurricane, what roads or highways or byways could be affected it's my to ask that question for you now. Local question, I'm trying to cut this from the end of the day. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I'd like to ask a question. We feel pretty confident that the uh, backwater issues will be uh, well taken care of by the sinking of the barge and the good work that's being done there. My question would be, can you, can you give us a little details on the flood control structure at Morganza. We understand that in the past, 
there's been problems. We, we lost a portion of, of the structure years ago when it was opened. Can you give us some information on the integrity of that structure? And is there a backup plan for if the river tries to jump the structure and get the entire river coming down the basin? And that's a big issue for us. If, if the river jumps the structure, you know, we've got a big problem here. And, and I just wonder, is there, is there a plan for if we start having a compromise of that structure? Okay, sir, so right now the reason we open it is that threat, the imminent threat of over top of the structure. It goes back to what you're saying, the river jump the structure. That's why we're releasing the water now. As far as what happened after 2011, significant repairs have been made to the organic structure, and just like our levee system is very strong, sir, and we have no doubt that it will hold up. Yes, right here. Uh, River structure is on top. Okay, old river structure. How is it holding up right now? Old river structure, sir, is in great condition. Okay, how many bays y'all anticipate open right now? And old river? Yeah, Be uh, uh, organic. And organic right now, anticipate open for the, for that show. For a full force of 150,000 CFS playing group, that's approximately 20 to 25 bays, sir. Okay, you're, you're still going to use the 30. 70 is not going to change Congress. Okay, so we talk two things. So 3070, you're talking about the 30 percent deviation off, the, off between the Mississippi and the River, and yeah. the Old River. So yes. for this for this event, we're talking about more Ganza and opening more Ganza to the water stage. We're talking 20 to 25 days, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. So this is what's going to happen afterwards. We're going to stand by everybody from the New Orleans District Court and as well as the MBD and the gentleman at the table. We're going to stand by for any individual questions that you may have. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for coming out here today. It's like my third time in Morgan City. So I'm, trying to, I'm going to get your answer, but there's no way. You say, by you black, I have never been there. <laughs> we, we, from what we understand, it, it flow, we get the backflow yes, coming up. Um, so essentially, our situation is: how, Do we need to be concerned? Do we need to think? Because I have a we work for a big hundred <laughs> sites. I'm gonna get to somebody who's familiar with that area, okay. and so they can explain those water innovation okay. maps. Okay, hey, Chris, can you find you. them, David Ramirez? Yes, sir. I just may I ask real quick the, the, the um the levels, the water levels. Can you reiterate the uh, how high the water will will come? As far as Morgan City, Morgan City, and and can you also uh, not predict, but give us the numbers for Stevensville as well? So I don't have Stevensville okay, right now. Well, I can Morgan tell you Morgan City is sitting okay. at one eight and a half right now. It's projected to get up to ten feet. Now, mind a significant change in the weather. We move that to the left or move it to the right, and that's with the hundred and fifty thousand CFS coming through the Morgan structure, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You operate the over the over the Morgan is the main structure. Oh, there's two different structures. Now. I know. I'm talking, but I'm looking. We're talking about the main. That's the one that's open. It diverts to thirty percent into it. That's, that's your normal that's that's river. That's old river. Yes, that's old river. That's what old river does. Yes, sir. Morganza is a relief valve for old river. If it gets to a stage, we got to let it go. We got to dump more water. Morganza is for upstream, sir. Morganza is for upstream back to the area. Morganza is not a backup for old river. Sir. Two different, two different animals. I, I know it's a two different animal. You got low seal. Now, what you talking about? You got low seal. You, you got morgan. You got you got auxiliary. Right. Yes, sir. Well, have, are you operating? It's the old river morgan structure operating at full force. Old river okay, structure. Okay, the old river structure. The old river structure is operating the way we're congressionally authorized to do, and that's diverting 30 percent from the combined CFS, the Red River and the Mississippi River, sir. And that's exactly how we operate it now, and we will not deviate from that, sir. So, so no, no. why are you opening Morgan? Why we open Morgan? Because of the stage trigger, sir. The stage trigger at Red Lamb is 62 feet rising, sir. So now we're going to open Morgan to lower the stage, sir. Because it's a threat to the structure of over top of the structure. Right. Yes, sir. But it's also there to relieve Baton Rouge the levee. Sure. Yes, sir. Downstream. That's, 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 that's what that's, it's yes. for. Yes, that's what we do. Yes, sir. So now you operate, and you told everybody in here yes, sir. that you are confident that yes, the old river control structure is sound. And we won't have any problems. So I tell you what, if I'm not confident in it, who will be? That's what we want because, <laughs> because we see I mean, you, well, you don't live down here. Sir. You see, you don't live in Morgan City because what happens if old river structure goes in? <laughs> sir, I don't want to speculate I mean, on that, sir, but you, I, can you, tell you, you, I can tell you the structure is sound and you have no worries. 
That's what I can tell you. You, you, you confidently? Yes, sir. I'm, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm looking yes, dead in your eye, and I'm telling you, I'm confident in it. <laughs> what happened to 73? They were confident. Sorry, sir, I wasn't born in 73. Well, you were pretty cool. But I'm here now. But I know the history of Arkansas. I know about the wing wall in 73. I know about that. Exactly. That's what's scary. I can't control that. I can control here right now. You can do confident that Old River's good to go. Old River's good to go. We have no problem. No problem. You're good to go, sir. The levees are sound. We have no problem. The sound. No problem, sir. Okay, let me show you <laughs> you were here in 73. Yes, I was here in 73. Yes, ma'am. I got you. I'm with the newspaper, the advocate now in Lafayette, and my 94 year old mama still lives here. Yes, ma'am. Just down the street. So, if your 94 year old mama was looking down the street here, you'd mm -hmm. say it's okay, you don't have to. Yes, ma'am. And I can also say, sir, she was here in 73. I can understand that. I can empathize with it, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I can empathize that with, man. But what I'm telling you right here, right now, Old River is good to go. Right here, right now, Morgans is good to go. I can't control what happened in the past, but I can tell you about right now. Well, and but we were told it was good and to go. Just a little bit more. The yeah. 2019 system that we have today is yeah. different than the, yes, than the yeah, 1973. Know, Investments have been made every year yeah. on that system. Because, because, because of problems.